Dungannon United Youth and Portadown Youth under 15s met at Home Park in Armagh for the semi final of the NIBFA Cup. Portadown in red and Dungannon in the yellow and blue. In an even first half, Portadown attacked down the left side through Samuel Griffin. However, his cross was gathered by the Dungannon goalkeeper, Rory McHugh. In the first half, Portadown were having joy down the left flank and again Samuel Griffin supplied the ball into the box that flashed across the face of goal. Dungannon then had a strike from distance when Caelan Devlin tried his luck for 40 yards with this effort just going over the crossbar. Into the second half we go with the game scoreless and Portadown were searching for the opening goal, however this effort didn't count. In a frantic second half, Shea O'Hare tested Timmy Martin in the Portadown goal with this long range effort. Gannon were causing the Portadown defence problems from corners and the next chance fell to Michael Forbes who could only turn and fire over the crossbar when he done well to get the shot away in a crowded penalty area. Down at the other end, Portadown opened the scoring when Tommy Smith got the final touch from a corner from the right wing. 1-0 to Portadown with 16 minutes of the second half played. It didn't take Dungannon long to respond, however. Michael Forbes' long ball into the box was latched onto by Ben Kelly, who was sharpest to react, and he made the score 1-1 with a striker's finish. Only three minutes later and Dungannon then took the lead in a familiar fashion when Michael Forbes' long goal kick was controlled and finished into the bottom corner by Ben Kelly who scored his second off the day and put Dungannon in a commanding position. The County Armagh side then responded only two minutes later when Tiernan McVeigh got on the end of a Tommy Smith cross at the back post to make the score two each. Game then went into extra time and this long range strike from Podrick Lynch tested Timmy Martin in the Portadown goal who managed to push the ball behind for a corner. With no team able to make the breakthrough in extra time, at two each the game went to a penalty shootout. Dungannon scored first when Patrick Lynch scored his penalty. Next up, Tiernan McVeigh stepped up for Portadown, however his penalty was saved. Shea O'Hare was next to step up for Dungannon and he held his nerve to put Dungannon into a 2-0 lead. Sean McCall scored Portadown's first penalty off the shootout to make the score 2-1. Michael Forbes was next for Dungannon and he scored to give Dungannon a 3-1 lead. The pressure was on Portadown's Ben Harvey to score and he did just so to make the score 3-2. Up steps Stephen Scott for Dungannon and he kept his composure to make the scoreline 4-2. All the pressure was on Portadown's Tommy Smith to score and he did so to keep Portadown in the contest and make the score 4-3. Dungannon's Lewis Francis had the opportunity to win the shootout for Dungannon and that's what he did when he fired high into the top left corner. So Dungannon won the shootout 5-3 and we'll have a final to look forward to. Well, obviously disappointed. It's never a great way to, to lose a game. I thought it was a fairly even game the whole way through. It was exciting, there was goals, there was equalisers, there was other goals. Both teams were transitioning well from defence into attack. 
for the neutral or for the spectators, I'm sure it was a, a great game to watch. And uh, you know, good luck to Dungannon in the final. And uh, I thought it was a great game and a great advert for the NIBFA Cup. I feel good. I think yeah, he's really pleased for the boys. It was a tough game. Um, I think every time we play Portadown, there's only ever like a goal on it, either road. So you knew coming in today it was going to be a tough match. Um, Nicky and the boys always set up very well, um, very strong defensively, and as well very physical going forward. So 2-2, um, probably a fair result. I think. don't think either team done enough to win uh, in time and in extra time. Unfortunately, you have to go to penalties, and another day, poor down could have won. You know, just today our luck was in, and we, we scored all five. So very happy for the boys, you know.